Good morning, Collier Bees, and welcome to another day of school. I'm Miss Hamilton, and this is The Buzz. We had some technical difficulties and we're not able to live stream our morning announcements this morning, but hopefully we will be able to live stream our morning announcements again tomorrow at 8.05, so stay tuned. But today is Tuesday, October 6th, and today is National Coaches Day. <clears throat> We'd like to give a shout out to our amazing PE coaches, Miss McCarthy and Miss Bedsall. But we also can't forget their amazing paraprofessional, Miss Ard. We appreciate all each of you do for our students and our school every single day. Thank you. Today's quote is in life be a positive person surround yourself with positive people and be kind to all the character word for this month is trustworthiness always tell the truth keep your word don't take or touch things that don't belong to you never cheat also remember to always be your best be today's character quote is always do the right thing now, would everyone please pause for a moment of silence, and while you are quiet, think about things that are good, things that are right, and ways to make a difference. Please stand and recite the pledge and school motto. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our school motto is focused on tomorrow through learning today. Thank you. You may be seated. Today, Jade and Perenda and Venancio Esteban Domingo celebrate their birthdays. Happy birthday! Now it's time for today's weather. Let's go to our meteorologist, Kendall, now. Today is Tuesday, and today's weather is going to be a high of 76 and a low of 66, and 30% chance of rain. And tomorrow's weather is going to be a high of 85 and a low of 70, and 20% chance of rain. If you like the rain, go outside and play, but if you don't like the rain, stay inside and maybe study for a test if you have one. This is Kendall Buck with the weather forecast. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kendall. Today for lunch, we will have chicken bites, a roll, carrots, fruit, juice, and milk. Tomorrow for breakfast, we will have a ham and cheese croissant, jam or jelly, fruit, juice, and milk. Tomorrow for lunch, we will have a hot dog, fries, ketchup, or mustard, fruit, juice, and milk. Also, don't forget that Lunch and breakfast meals are available for pickup every Monday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for remote learners. These meals can be picked up by the back of the cafeteria. Also remember that lunch cards are no longer required to pick up school meals during remote learning. We also wanted to remind students that we ask them to spend about 30 to 45 minutes per week working on iReady reading and 30 to 45 minutes per week working on iReady math. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your child's teacher. Also remember, we have lots of helpful information and videos on our school website and have been sharing information on our school social media pages, so check those out. We would love to see your pictures of our students learning remotely. 
If you post a picture on social, social media, make sure you use the hashtag learning leading remotely and the school hashtag be the impact. Mobile County Public Schools are transitioning back into face-to-face -face school. Pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade students are back in the school building with us this week. Students in second, third, and fourth grade will return to school on Monday, October 12th, and our fifth grade students will return on Monday, October 19th. Remember that each student has the option of continuing with remote instruction or returning to school on this new schedule. Please continue to be patient with us as we get information out to you. Check our website and social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for updates. We were so excited to have some of our pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade students back in the building with us yesterday. Here's a video highlighting some moments.
We had a fabulous first in-person day with these students and can't wait to have second through fourth grade back next week. Revised supply lists have been posted to our school website and on our social media pages, so check there if you haven't seen them yet. Please be aware that all carpool numbers will change for all students this year. We will be doing colors by grade level to help our carpool run more smoothly and safely. All past carpool tags will no longer be valid and new marked tags will be assigned to carpool students. Also, we will be having a drop in and drop off for students in grades second through fifth this Thursday, October 8th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. This will be an opportunity for parents to briefly meet their child's teacher, drop off school supplies, update contact information, pay the $5 school fee, and receive a dismissal tag. In order to ensure the safety of all, please be sure to wear a mask, only have one parent attend, not bring any siblings, and socially distance. Each grade level will have its own entrance into the building. Second grade will use the back entrance on the bus side facing the bus awning. Third grade will use the front entrance on the carpool side facing the street. Fourth grade will enter at the main entrance near the front office. And fifth grade will use the front entrance on the bus side of the building facing the street. We hope that all of our second through fifth grade students are able to make it. Please be sure to check out Collier PTO's Facebook page. They are selling Collier gear like shirts, jackets, and even mask packs. You can purchase through Facebook by email. You can purchase through Facebook or by emailing our PTO at callyourpto at gmail.com or by using the Google form sent out by teachers. They will be, the PTO will be mailing the purchased items straight to your house. During this new way of learning, let's work together to stay positive, patient, and make, make this an amazing school year. Thank you for tuning in today and be sure to tune in every day at 805 to hear the latest buzz at Collier Elementary. Have an unbelievable day.